everyone. It is Science Girls, Science Girls Lab, and I'm so excited to tell you about Science Night at the Isotopes on Friday, August 9th. Dress up as a mad scientist and come and see the amazing hands-on science experiences that you can play with while you're here. And I would love to show you some of the very cool science demonstrations that I like to share with people who love science. One of the really cool things I love to demonstrate in science is tornadoes. Now, over here I have a fire tornado that I will demonstrate that's actually a naturally occurring phenomenon that our fighter fighters have to deal with here in New Mexico during the fire season. Now, <laughs> this one's a little dangerous, so I'm gonna show you another tornado using ice, and dry ice particularly. And this is something you can try at home. See, this is a cardboard box, super easy to build and lots of fun to play with. Okay, and today we have Orbit and some of his helpers here today for the isotopes and they're gonna help me do the science. So I have something called dry ice. Now dry ice is created when carbon dioxide is condensed into solid pieces, okay? It's really, really cold, but when we put it in some warm water, it's going to create something. Here, smell that, smell that. Oh, oh yeah, it doesn't smell too good. It's kind of cold. Yeah, yeah, kind of cold. So it's 110 degrees below zero. And when we put it in water, it turns into a gas faster. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that, you want to touch it, Orbit? Yeah, touch it. It's okay, just touch the smoke. There you go. <laughs> so cool. Does it smell, is it cold? Well, it's a little, actually a little warm now because of the warm water. Now we're going to put it into our vortex generator over here. Do you see this box? So this box is going to help us create our ice tornado. Yes, a tornado right here in this room. You wanna turn on the fan? Now if you watch from the side here, you can see that the air is starting to draw up, getting sucked out, and then it's starting to create the vortex of dry ice, the, that dry ice smoke. Isn't that crazy? Now this is the stuff that science people that will be coming to the science night can do at home. Yeah, yeah, they can do this at home. Oh, now do you wanna see that, the one that may be a little bit more dangerous? How about you? this can? And it has some lighter fluid in it. So you better be careful, or but you wanna stay back, you don't wanna catch on fire. And I don't wanna catch on fire, so I'm gonna be very careful myself. I'm gonna put it in my different kind of vortex generator. I'm going to light it. Three, two, okay. So now we just have a flame. But I would like you to reach over and actually give it a gentle spin. Yeah. Oh, did you see that? Here, I'll do it again. Do you see that? It's very warm. And now we have a fire tornado. This is actually something that occurs in nature. And firefighters have to be able to figure out a way to fight this during our fire seasons here in New Mexico. <laughs> Give it, would you like to give another spin? Yeah. There you go. Let's see how high we can get. Give it a harder spin. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah. So this, since it's heat, it actually rises by itself. It, here we actually have to draw up air. This one, since the air is being warmed up, it is actually drying up. So did you have fun with science with us today? Are you excited for science night here at the Isotopes? Yeah? Are you going to be there? Yeah, so come over on August 9th, Friday night, and we are going to have science night here at the Isotopes. Go be awesome, everyone. 